Hi guys, Wayne's Butler here. Now I did say to some that I wasn't going to do another progress video before the slideshow, but Chris and a few other guys really like these videos, so I thought I would do, I'm going to do one more here before I close everything up to let you know what's going on, uh, especially with, with uh, this electronics. We got everything nailed down pretty good. Well, just to recap, we got this all done, finished primer, showed you that before, looks good. But we got the capacitor bank done. Impressive. I mean, it's really starting to look like the MP gun, you know, and I got this all together. It's like, shit. Very happy with it. Looks really good. So that's all in finished primer. So that's ready to go. But the thing that I've been wrapping my head around, this whole part here, it's been my entire world all week. Uh, what I've done is. What I've decided to do, I'm mounting all the electronics in the grip. Uh, after I took this, you know, ripped this toy apart, started seeing how the circuit board and everything's designed, I thought, well, I don't want to start lengthening wires like I was originally going to do. And you start, you know, I didn't want to slice this thing in half. So I thought, what's the, the least risky thing? So I didn't, I was going to put everything in here and even I was even thinking about putting it in the in the head unit, but when you start lengthening signal wires, you can you can run into issues with uh, resistance. Like when you lengthen a piece of wire, you also increase the resist resistance of the circuit. So, anyways, when I got everything out, I said this all made sense. You know what I mean? Keep it simple. So what I did, like I said, I cut the the ring out for the speaker. And I glued that in the grip. Now what I did with the grip is I used this pin vise and just the way the design of the grip was, I don't want to flip this over right now, but uh, I drilled a whole bunch of holes all inside this thing here uh, so the speaker will fire through. You can't, when you hold the grip up, you can't really see the holes, so it'll be cool and it works too, it still works. And then I'm going to put the circuit board up front here. Uh, lucky everything just seems everything just seems to be falling into place here. It's uh, I'm quite happy with everything's turning how everything's turning out. The only thing that I'm this trigger system is not going to do is not going to turn the lights on. Now, when you guys see me seen the demonstration in the unboxing, the way these lights flash on and off when you pull the trigger, that's not movie accurate. Now, if you do remember the scene uh, when the bat pod's going through the tunnel. He has the EMP gun propped in the back of the bat pod, and that light's on in the gun. The, in the, the light is on in the gun while the bat pod's going along, turning all the lights off. So the lights aren't controlled by the trigger. So what I'm going to do is that trigger is just going to operate the sound. I'm going to take right in about there. This the receiver goes in here. I'm going to bore that out, and I'm going to put two switches. One switch for the lights, which will be on and off at will, and the other one will be the power supply for the for the the circuit here. That switch here, it's hardwired into the circuit board. I didn't want to take it out. Uh, I could start jumping terminals and stuff like that. I didn't want to do that. Again, I want to keep it simple and dependable. So the switch is in a permanent on position, so I need some way of turning the, the circuit off, which is why I'm going to put a switch in that. And then the battery pack, I cut that out of the gun, just cut out what I needed, and I'm going to you know, run extension wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run, drill a hole here, drill a hole here, run the wire up, wire is going to go inside that uh, head unit. Uh, this piece here, when I cast that in clear, I'm going to drill a hole here and here, and I'm going to have this is, I'm going to be able to have this removable. So you can access the battery pack, and there's going to be this battery pack. Oh, not that. This will be the battery pack for the LEDs. This is actually the battery pack that comes with the LED. It's kind of like a test thing uh, when it's in the store. So I thought I'm going to use that, and that's that. The other thing about the circuit board too, that when you're handling it, you don't want to handle it too much. Because the, the, your biggest risk with circuit boards is static discharge. Now, when I'm at work, if I have to open up a body computer or something like that, we are required to wear static uh, bracelets. 
and ground to the body of the car because if uh, when you rub your feet across the carpet and you get that little you know that little spark that spark can be upwards as 30,000 volts and I know that sounds like a lot of voltage but voltage isn't what isn't what kills you it's amperage so a little bit more to it than that but so static discharge and yet you know if if I had a little spark that jumped across my finger and onto that circuit board it it would wipe out the entire circuit board so it was the other reason why I didn't want to handle it too much uh, so that's lesson in electronics the other thing I wanted to give you a quick little tip on is PLA now this kit it was printed with PLA now what I've discovered is crazy glue or CA glue and PAA love each other this stuff really glues well with uh, your basic CA glue. Now, not another little tip: when you're buying super glue, not all super glue is created equal. Some of the stuff you buy in a convenience store or buy off the shelf is basically crap. Now, the thing with with CA glue, it, it's very brittle. Now, if you're looking for the best, basically what I'm trying to tell you is the best CA glue out there to use is Gorilla CA glue. Now, the Gorilla CA glue ha does have an uh, elastomer in it. It is when it dries it, it, it is still slightly flexible so when you guys are out there shopping for CA glue and you want the best the Gorilla CA glue is the best in my opinion the best I've ever used for CA glue I don't always use it because you don't always need it in every application but so that's the CA glue lesson we got an electronics lesson <laughs> I told you what I've done here now as far as the grip to what I did is I use a razor saw now it was a risky doing that, but because I didn't know what I was going to find on the inside, but I've seen enough videos on 3A printing, I knew it was probably going to be just filled with uh, infill, which is what I did. I just bored it all out with uh, the Dremel tool, and I've taken the trigger unit. I cut that out of the the kit, and I'm going to mount that up here, and I'm going to lengthen it. I could be close up here of some of the stuff that I've done. I'm going to lengthen the grip. Sorry, Lucius, I am going to redesign your trigger system here. Now, when you look at that, it is movie accurate. The way that trigger system designed, it is movie accurate. But you'd have your, uh, you know, you put your finger in there, no problem. But Batman would have a hard time getting his finger in there with his gloved hand. So this trigger system is going to be designed a little different. It's going to come, it's going to come up to about here, and it's going to kind of echo the shape of the thing. It's going to look like it belongs there. And what else have I done? And that's about it. Let me just give you a little quick little close up here so you can see what it looks like before I shut this grip up in my mouth here in a minute. So you can see this the speaker there, the the circuit board, and that's the, the trigger system. That trigger system is gonna go. You can see the switch there. And that's the pattern for the extension of the trigger and the battery pack. Wrap all that up, put it together. This will, well, never say never, this will probably be the last progress video before the gun is completed. What I'm going to do when the gun's d done, I'm going to do a video, talk about what we've done, and then I'm going to tag on the slideshow vid of br breaking all this down because some of the pictures may not make sense so that was another reason why I want to kind of explain that, that circuit board idea it's going to work good you know I'm really really happy with it and what day is it Saturday Saturday morning up here in Canada it's sunny out weather's nice but I'm going to be indoors giving this thanks for watching guys Wayne's Butler Signing off. Peace and out to all.